The Burlington Public Schools, School Committee, and the Burlington Area Chamber of Commerce have teamed up for a new project aimed at helping young children, even babies, start to build the skills necessary to be strong leaders later on. School Committee member Kristen Russo explained how the project came about. Um, we were, I took a Sally Grimes literacy course with other Burlington teachers, and during that time she talked about how literacy, learning to read, is not hardwired in our brain the way other things are. And that kind of struck us of how we really need from day one when these babies are born to be talking to them and building those connections for them. Uh, during the class, she also handed out a book, Make Time for Reading, and the teachers and I were talking about what a nice book it was because one side of the book talked about to the parents and guardians of how to read to your child and it was really low-key and simple too and the other side told a story to the child so there's both aspects of it so in in talking with the other teachers we're saying how can we use this how can we get this in the hands of parents especially when the children are little and in speaking with dr conti we broached the idea of, you know, wouldn't it be nice when a child's born that the parents are given this book and it just flourished from there. The book, along with a letter welcoming the new child to Burlington, will be given to parents of new babies. They will either receive it at the hospital or in the mail. So far, Russo said, about a thousand of the books have been mailed to families with young children. So what is the big benefit for children and their reading abilities of getting them started so young? Uh, so it, the research has been showing that children who have phonemic awareness, which is the sound letter recognition, it's one of the best indicators of the children that will be able to read. So the children who have been talked to since day one and read to really come in with more of a foundation of that sound letter awareness and word sound awareness and they they're really able then to work with the teachers at the younger level and, and build upon that with the phonics and then the letter recognition with the sound and the syllables too. Getting children started on a life of reading at an early age before they start kindergarten will give them an advantage when they enter school, Kristen said. Well, the earlier, um, by third grade, we know that if children are reading proficiently by third grade, they start jumping into the reading to learn. We get into social studies, science, all different subjects where they're starting to read for meaning. So the sooner that they're reading um, fluently, they are then able to gather more from their reading. So instead of just reading and then going back to read again for meaning, they're able to read for meaning the first time through. Burlington Area Chamber of Commerce President Rick Parker said the Chamber was happy to partner with the schools for this project. Well, the Chamber um, sees part of its responsibility is to support the community and um, Dr. Conti is on our board. We, we added him to the board years ago, understanding that you know, giving back to the community is part of the uh, business responsibility. Rick said the Burlington school system was great in preparing his children for college, and he hopes this project will help it do even more for the next generation. Well, I, I raised my family here in Burlington. Um, three children that uh, we put through the Burlington uh, public school system went on to, uh, in college now, doing very well. Got a very, uh, a very good head start for, for the college life going through the Burlington school system. And I think that this uh, reading program actually engages some of the residents here before they get to the school system and gives them a leg up when they're coming into the school system. So it's, it's that continuous progress throughout uh, their, their educational life and then preparing them for the workforce as well. Finally, looking at the long term, Rick said helping to educate the children of today will help his clients in the business community tomorrow. Well, in today's world, um, most of these companies that are, that are in the area, they're an internet connection away from, from going anywhere. And when, when companies tend to leave this area, they don't necessarily, when they go west, they don't go to Springfield, they go to California. Part of um, the strategy for keeping people here is to have an educated workforce. One, hopefully, that uh, a lot of these uh, employees that work in the companies locally will reside in Burlington. That helps us to keep, not only to keep the companies here, but to keep a strong workforce available for, for the businesses and, and it perpetuates um, a, a very friendly business environment, but also, again, connects the business community to, to the residential community. For B News Weekly, I'm Rich Hosford. Oh.